Hello and welcome to Trade Talks. My name is Yogesh. Equities drifted in a narrow band most of this week awaiting word on whether the US was going to move forward Sunday with imposing a fresh round of tariffs on roughly $160 billion of Chinese goods. Most observers expected some sort of delay to the tariffs with or without a formal trade agreement between the two countries as few believed US President Donald Trump would want to hit consumers with higher prices right before Christmas. When reports came Thursday of an agreement, major stock markets around the world moved clearly into positive territory and government bond yields stepped higher. The US, Canada and Mexico finally reached a deal to revise the United States-Mexico-Canada agreement, paving the way for the new North American Trade Pact to be ratified by Congress and signed by the President in 2020. The US Federal Reserve left its key interest rates unchanged and signaled that the bar remained high for rate increases. The European Central Bank similarly kept an accommodative or dovish stance at its policy meeting this week. On Thursday night, British voters broke the deadlock that had seized the country and paralyzed its planned exit from the European Union. Handing a landslide victory to Tory Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his plan to get Brexit done by January 31st, 2020. Gains in the S&P 500, which briefly pushed the index to a new all-time high, were led by the technology sector. Energy stocks climbed as oil prices continued to drift higher in the wake of announced production cuts last week from the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. A report from the International Energy Agency that forecast continued oil surpluses failed to dent investors' optimism. Materials, consumer discretionary and financials all made solid gains as well. Major European and Asian markets were all higher with the trade news complemented by mostly better economic reports and then the UK election results. German trade data and the Zoo economic sentiment survey were better. France's factory output climbed above expectations. Japan's gross domestic product in the third quarter was revised sharply upward and the OPEC and development's leading economic indicators ticked higher. When the strength of the conservative election victory in Britain became apparent, Friday, stocks took another step higher in Europe. Friends, that's all for today. Stay tuned for more market updates. Until then, trade safe and have a great week ahead. Thank you so much for watching this video. To keep yourself updated about the latest happenings in the world of financial markets, subscribe to this channel. To know about investment opportunities in the year 2020, register for our seminar in January on www.century.ae. My name is Yogesh and you have a great week ahead.